I'm Anil Kumar. Let me thank my subscriber Arum for sharing another excellent question. Arum, this question is really very interesting and it's a very common question in most of the test papers. I hope its solution will help many of our viewers. And thanks a lot for also sharing with me your partial solution and I can understand where you got stuck. I'll try my best to clear those points. So I'm using the same diagram and the same variables which uh, you started off with so that uh, there is no confusion. Let's go through the question. The diagram shows a river 30 meter wide flowing at a speed of 3.5 meters per second between straight parallel banks. A boat whose speed in still water is 6 meters per second crosses the river from a point A on one bank to the point B on the opposite bank 5 meters upstream. So this is B. In order to travel directly from A to B, the boat is steered in a direction making an angle alpha to the bank as shown. Find the value of alpha, resultant speed of the boat, time taken for the crossing. In order to make the return journey from B to A, what is the course taken by the boat? Excellent question. Now let's see how to solve it. So that's the width of the river and the point B is given here. We can use the tan ratio to find the angle which is this angle, right? So let's find this angle. Let's call it theta for the time being. Now here I'm going to use uh, space uh, to my best so that we don't run into many pages. We'll take two or three pages for sure. So tan theta is equal to 30 over 5 which is equal to 6 correct so what you see here is the two banks separated by a distance of 30 meters they are parallel and the boat lands 5 meters upstream from a point which is directly opposite let's say we call this as O right so we are first solving this particular diagram in order for the boat to reach at B it actually steers in a angle of alpha with the current it moves and comes to this right so 3.5 meters per second is the water current and the velocity of the boat in still water is 6 meters per second right so i hope the diagram is absolutely clear so that gives you theta which is equal to tan inverse of 6 right so let's find this angle so shift tan inverse of 6 is equal to 80.53 so we'll keep it 80.5 degrees now once we know the angle theta here we can now find the angle on this side right okay so which is let's call this angle as uh, let's just give it angle B, right? So, so let's say the angle B, the bigger angle B is 180 minus 80.5 degrees, correct? So that gives you uh, 99.5 degrees. So angle B here is 99.5 degrees. Let's write it down. So this angle is 99.5. Now, uh, let me call this point as C. So now we'll solve the triangle ABC. What we know here, we'll take the velocity diagram, okay? So the velocity diagram, let's write. Uh, we'll solve the velocity diagram, right? Now, if you look into the triangle ACB, what do you notice? We can apply the sine law, right? 
uh, and find uh, one of the angles which is this angle which we are going to find now so let me call this angle as beta okay. since we know one ratio right so we can write sine beta over the side opposite we are talking about the velocities now 3.5 is equal to sine of 99.5 degrees over 6 velocity of boat in still water right so that gives you the value of beta as we'll just cross multiply so we get 3.5 over 6 times sine of 99.5 and we'll do sine inverse right i didn't leave much space so let me write sine beta here okay sine beta is all this and then we'll find beta okay so so we get 3.5 divided by 6 times sine of 99.5 is equal to so we'll find beta as sine inverse of all this value which is uh, 0 0.5753 so shift sine inverse of our answer gives us a value which is 35.12 so i'm keeping it as 30.1 degrees good so we get the angle beta as 35.1 degrees so that's our angle beta so the first part is to find the value of angle alpha right now so so we know this all this is 90 degrees let me say this is 90 degrees right so we can actually find alpha from we also know this angle uh, which is 80.5 right so this theta was 80.5 so this total is 80.5 correct so to find alpha we can take away 35.5 so this angle theta is same as this angle correct so this angle here is same as theta right which is which is 80.5 so from here we get the angle alpha as equal to let me write down here so the angle alpha is equal to 80.5 take away beta which is 35.1 and that is equal to 80.5 take away 35.1 In decimals 45.4 so alpha is equal to 45.4 degrees correct so we found this angle alpha now we need to find the resultant speed of the boat so the resultant speed is that green line which I have shown right so that is the resultant speed and uh, now since we know what this angle beta is we can actually easily find uh, a to b resultant speed using either now we know this combination so now let's find resultant speed so let's find it on the fresh page now to find the resultant speed uh, i've made some room here we'll do it on this page itself what we are going to use is the triangle shown here with red, green, and blue line. Now, this angle alpha is also equal to this angle, right? So, that is also 45.4, right? So, that is also alpha. So, this is also alpha for us, correct? Parallel lines alternate interior angles. So, we are going to use this angle alpha, which is opposite to the resultant speed a b and we'll again use the sine law okay so we want to find what a b is let's call it velocity of the boat resultant velocity of the boat over 
the the angle opposite which is 45.4 so sine of 45.4 should be equal to we can use any other ratio so this is better 6 over sine of let's say this is called resultant speed of the boat sine of 99.5 correct so from here we get the resultant speed of the boat as 6 times sine of 45.4 degrees divided by sine of 99.5 degrees so let's find this out so we get 6 times sine of 45.4 divided by sine of 99.5 degrees so that gives you 4 point so we'll round it to 4.3 so that is the resultant velocity or speed of the boat from A to B. So we get this answer also, which is, let's write, write here, 4.3 meters per second, right? Time taken for the crossing. Now to find the time taken, we have to find the distance and divide with the speed. Is that okay? So let's do it. Well, we'll try to complete here itself since I don't want to uh, re-sketch the whole diagram. Okay. Now, to find the distance AB, right, we can use Pythagorean theorem since this is a right triangle. Correct? So, so AB is equal to, so, okay, let's use blue ink. So, so AB is equal to square root of 5 square plus 30 square correct okay so let's figure this out so a b is square root of 5 square plus 30 square which in decimals is 30.4 let's say 4 1 okay so we can write 30.4 so that is a b so time taken let's say time t will be distance with divided by velocity so 30.41 divided by the boat speed which was 4.33 right so so let's do this so we have 30.41 divided by 4.33 which is in decimals 7.02 so say 7 point okay 0 2 so 7 seconds right so that time is in seconds perfect so we have got the time taken for the crossing also so we are done first three parts here now we'll talk about the return journey in order to make the return return journey from b to a from b to a what is the course taken by the boat so basically when the boat is returning from b to a boat has to head somewhere here right and then it is going to hit a so that is what we will see on a fresh page correct so i hope uh, a b c are very clear perfect now let's see how to work out the return journey so Arum, this is the part where you got stuck. So I'll make a bigger diagram here just to explain the whole stuff. Uh, so, so let's say this is our situation. I'll try to use the same color code which we did. So, but a bigger version of it, right? So, so now we are at point B and we want to reach point A. What we know is that this distance between the two banks is 30 meters and let's call this point was O for us this is 5 meters right we also worked out that the the angle here is 80.5 so I'll write the angle directly right so this is a right angle this is 80.5 uh, yeah, and uh, we know that the velocity of the boat in 
still water is 6 meters per second so the boat will actually head in this direction let's say right so so that is what vb will be which is which is for us equal to 6 meters per second correct and uh, finally it will cover the distance and actually get to point a right so so the resultant will be in this direction right uh, so that is the situation uh, which we kind of know what else we had figured out. Okay, so I think that's it could be utilized. And we know this velocity on this side is because of the water current which is 3.5 meters per second. Correct? So all this is known to us. Now, if you look at this triangle, then the angle 80.5 is, is this angle also, right? So, this angle is 80.5. So, you have to work basically with that angle. And since we have a combination of all this, we can actually figure out uh, this diagram completely. Correct? So, so now we also know distance wise correct so we could also work with distance but we can now use sine law to find the the angle but we'll find this angle first correct since we know this combination and that combination let's call this angle as phi okay. so we have sine phi over the side opposite which is 3.5 we're checking the velocity diagram okay and from this side, we have sine of 80.5 divided by 6. So we get sine phi as equal to 3.5 over 6 times sine of 80.5. Correct? Let's calculate this answer. We have 3.5 times sine of 80.5 which is equal to and then we'll divide by 6 0 0.57533 that is sine phi right so phi is equal to sine inverse of this so we'll do shift sine inverse of our answer and what we get is 35.12 okay so we got phi as 35.12 we are actually interested in this angle so let's call this angle as gamma so angle gamma will be equals to 180 degrees minus 80.5 minus 35.12 so we do 180 minus 80.5 minus 35.12 that gives you in decimals 64.38 or you can say approximately 64.4 degrees correct so the angle at which it is going to hit is 64.4 degrees so that is the that is the answer right so so you know, i really you could also mention from north or whatever right so but i hope that makes sense so this angle is gamma for us at which it is returning back right effectively the boat will reach point a so i hope that is absolutely clear right feel free to share with me your comments and views and i hope that helps thanks a lot for sharing once again and all the best